Good morning, and welcome to our annual outdoor pageant. I hope you brought a warm something. <laughs> Somebody next to you, just feel like you can snuggle up. So we, we are so excited to be presenting this, and the weather, we pray, will just slow down. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Lila for some additional announcements, and Judy. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Uh, one small change to the bulletin and ask for prayers for our baby Jesus. He has called out sick today. So we would like to thank everybody who has shown up to participate and everyone who took the time to bring their animals. That's a big endeavor. And to all of you to show up and sit in the cold and watch us do this. It shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too long. And then we're going to have birthday cake for Jesus inside. Please join us. And hot chocolate. And hot chocolate. <laughs> My turn. Um, I finally have the list of gift ideas for Jesse's house. They're in there when you come for coffee hour. Um, please sign on the paper next to the name of the child you're taking. Thank you. We have a lovely antique tithe box that is here in front of the Advent wreath. And so we will not take an offering during this pageant, but feel free to place your offering in that pillar box there. <laughs> we welcome you. Just a quick reminder on the board, uh, this is the third Sunday of Advent, but um, after next Sunday will be the sol winter solstice, the 21st, and we have a service warm inside on the 21st for the longest night, so you're, mark that on your calendar. We're going to light our Advent wreath. We light the pink one today. This is called Gadate Sunday or Sunday of Joy in Advent because you can't be uh, too much uh, Advent self-reflection and um, everything. You, you need one Sunday of joy. So I invite you to join in the bulletin with me. Today we light the candle of joy. Let us pray together. Holy One, you are the source of our hope and our peace, and in you all true joy has its origins. You are the one we expect, but your coming is always unexpected. Source of all joy, we delight in the season of twinkling lights and evergreen wreaths of the brush of angels' wings that catches us unaware. And let us sing in joyous exaltation together with choirs of angels and all the citizens of heaven. You know this song. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hope you can hear us through the chattering of your teeth. As you know, all of the best stories in the world start with Once Upon a Time. And so we start our pageant narrative. Once upon a time, 
there was a young woman named Mary who lived in Nazareth. She was engaged to be married to a carpenter named Joseph. When God sent the angel Gabriel to her. Now Gabriel told her she would be with child by the Holy Spirit and give birth to the Son of God. An angel of the Lord also appeared to Joseph, because he needed to know this too, and told him to take Mary as his wife. And Joseph did as the angel commanded him to do, and Mary and Joseph were married. In those days, Caesar Augustus decreed that a census should be taken of all Roman people, and of every man was ordered to return to the town of his ancestors to register. So, Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth to the town of Bethlehem in order to be registered. Mary went with him, although she was expecting a child. Oh, While Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, the time came for the baby to be born. But because of the census, the inns had no room for them to stay. But a kindly innkeeper invited them to stay in his stable. One bird. You're all invited to sing. <clears throat> oh, And so Mary gave birth to her son in the stable of a kind innkeeper. She wrapped her baby in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. And rem Mary remembered the words she had said to her cousin Elizabeth. My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God, my Savior. For he has remembered me, his lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me happy because of the great things the mighty God has done for me. God's name is holy from one generation to another. God shows mercy on those who honor him. And with the birth of Jesus, we remember the prophet's words. When he comes, he will rule his people with the strength that comes from the Lord. And with the majesty of the Lord God, 
herself. His people will live in safety because people all over the earth will acknowledge his greatness and he will bring peace. The sheep are eating our advent wreath. <laughs> the night that Jesus was born, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were fear filled with fear. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of a great joy that will be for all people. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Shall we join singing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing? Hark the Thank you. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> and suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace among all with whom he is pleased. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. What a pair. <laughs> it came upon the midnight clear that glorious song And so, the shepherds found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And as the prophet Isaiah said, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, lived in a land of deep darkness. On them, light has shined. For a child 
has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Shall we join in singing, What Child Is This? What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Who angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch our keeping? This, this is Christ the King. Now when the shepherds had seen the baby Jesus, they went out and spread the word, and all who heard it are amazed. You amazed? And Mary, naturally, treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds glorified and praised God for all the things they had heard and seen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Angels, we have heard our heart sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the Magi came from the east to Jerusalem and asked where to find the king of the Jews. King Herod heard this, and he sent them to find Jesus, wanting them to report back the exact location. So the wise men followed the star in the east, and it led them to the place where the child was. A sort of a camel. Shall we sing? The first verse of We Three Kings. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. I don't know which to prefer, Lemon Drop the Camel, Duke the Burrow, Buddy the Sheep. You'll have to decide for yourselves. <laughs> so the kings found Jesus with his mother, and they presented him with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And they bowed down and worshipped him and were overjoyed. Then Having been warned in a dream that Herod wanted to harm Jesus, Mary and Joseph decided to return home by another route. Oh. 
Mary and Joseph named their baby Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was born. They then returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth, and the child grew up and became strong. He was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. The word became flesh and dwelt among us and we have seen his glory, the glory of a par of a pa as of a parent's only child, full of grace and truth. Shall we sing Joy to the World? Joy to the world. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> we are now going to rearrange a bit for a photo opportunity, so give us one minute. Can we have a couple of the people with come and sit? And while they do that, I want to say the, the we named a, the people a special thanks to all those who brought their animals. They're really um, amazingly well behaved compared to the animals I grew up around. And... Um, but there's someone, a couple of people we especially need to thank, the Board of Christian Education that does all of this. And, and that's Lila. And where is Diana? And Mary Worley, somewhere, I saw, who also put together our Advent wreath. And Emma uh, is up here with a sheep. And uh, where is Terry? Terry, over here. So uh, they make all their arrangements for this and contact everyone and put it all together. So I don't think they named their name in the bulletin as a thank you, but they should be thanked. All right. So here's your photo op. I also want to give a big shout out to Amy and what's your husband's name? Charles, for filling in as Mary and Joseph, sorry. Um, I'm recently told that Amy was our very first live baby Jesus back in 1988, so super cool. <laughs> Full circle. So everybody, here is your photo op, and then we'll meet you inside for cake and out back to pet the animals. Thanks for coming. <laughs>